Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on another Eastern sunscreen. And this is the tinted version. So I'm super excited to try out this sunscreen because I really like the non-tinted version. The one thing I really love about this sunscreen is that it has that patented DNA repair zone enzyme. And that enzyme is there to repair the damages that's already on your skin. And so while protecting your skin, the sunscreen is also repairing the damages. So I really like that idea. This is how the tints look like. It's not too dark or too yellow. Now the texture is very, very lightweight and it's very silky. Now the finish is a little bit oily for my skin, but I don't mind because I like the ingredients in here. The sunscreen is as for 50 water resistant for 40 minutes and it only has zinc oxide in here. The texture, consistency, everything about this version feels the same like the non-tinted version. The tinted version definitely looks a lot better on my skin tone because the non-tinted version, I had a pretty white cast. I'm going to apply another layer to see if there's any pills, but so far, I really like this finish. And no pills. I'm going to add a little bit of my blush and this is the Nudie blush. And this is my new SPF lips chapstick. This is SPF 30. This sunscreen has zinc oxide and is by Everyday Humans. I'm going to wear this sunscreen for the rest of the day to see if it's very similar or the same as the other sunscreen. It has been about 2 hours and my skin is getting a little bit oily, but I absolutely love this tint on my skin. It has been more than 8 hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now the sunscreen is just like the non-tinted version. It is a little bit oily for my skin, especially in my T-zone area here. But my skin is not drying. My skin is very, very moisturized. And so just like the non-tinted version, I absolutely love this version. And I love it even more because of the tint. The sunscreen looks very natural on my skin versus the non-tinted version where my skin tone is a little bit darker for the sunscreen. And so there was an extremely white cast on my skin after I apply maybe two or three layers on my skin. So overall, I absolutely love this sunscreen. I love the tint of the sunscreen. It matches my skin tone pretty well and the tint is not too yellow or not too dark for my skin tone although the finish is a little bit oily for my skin but i don't even mind because i really like the finish and the texture of the sunscreen it is very lightweight on my skin and the finish is very very silky i have three layers on my skin but the formula still feels very lightweight on my skin and of course i like that dna repair zone where it helps to repair the damages that's already on my skin and so this is something i'm going to continue using although i feel like it is on a pricey side this bottle is seventy dollars uh, but i'm going to use a whole bottle to see if there are any differences in my skin and then reassess um, just because it's pretty pricey uh, for a sunscreen and in comparison to my favorite tinted sunscreens the first one is the la roche posay sunscreen this one is water resistant for 40 minutes it is s 50 it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in here and the consistency of the sunscreen is on the liquidy side as well and the color is very very pretty as well it's also very lightweight on my skin however this sunscreen doesn't have any skincare ingredients so what you get is just the sunscreen protection but the finish is very pretty it's not too oily or not too matte it is a little bit less greasy less oily than the eastern sunscreen though and the other sunscreen is my PCA sunscreen. This sunscreen is water resistant for 80 minutes. It has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide in here. And it also has bisabolol. And bisabolol is there to calm and soothe your skin. And so I really like this sunscreen. The color of the sunscreen is not too yellow or not too dark as well. And the finish is not too oily or not too matte. 
it's definitely more matte than the Eastern sunscreen for me. So I really, really like this sunscreen. The coverage of this sunscreen is like the Eastern sunscreen. It even styles my skin tone really, really well. It looks like I'm wearing a very light layer foundation, which is something I really, really like from a sunscreen. Let me know your thoughts on these sunscreens. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I will see you on the next video. Bye!